didn't get as much done yesterday as we thought we would. Maybe you're thinking, hmm, that's pretty normal for you. It is normal. You guys remember how I said in the last video that we're learning as we go, we're figuring it out as we go. Thought we were gonna be putting up the inside forms now, but we actually have to put some more rebar in, kind of right about here. Right along there, we're gonna put rebar in. It's supposed to be, I mean, we've like got way too much rebar. We bought too much rebar, so we're gonna use it. We're gonna have way more rebar than is actually required for our footer and our stem wall. We've got two horizontal bars in the footer. We'll have three horizontal bars in the stem wall, plus all of the verticals. And so, yeah, we're gonna have a lot of rebar. I don't think this thing's going anywhere. Bring on the earthquakes. All right, so we don't have any more of those fancy wire ties. And we didn't want to really want to spend the money on buying more of those things because they're kind of expensive and they're actually not as strong as just regular wire. So that's what we're using. Cut up a bunch of these guys and then uh, we'll be able to get that rebar tied in. They make like a spool thing you can put on your belt to um, hold the wire and then you just pull it out and cut it off. But I mean, how many times am I gonna do this in my lifetime? Probably once. So I figure it's not worth the money to buy the spoolie thing. But who knows? Maybe we'll be professional wire tires and go on a wire tying tour of the country. While Jules and I are working on the forms over there in between rain showers and we've been delayed twice now today because of rain but you guys hear the chainsaw oh it just stopped these kids over here and Brittany are doing a great work for us where are they Ooh, they are widening the road for us here cutting down trees there they are down there Look at him. Hi guys. How's it going? Good. Um, he... Keeps dying. Are we going to eat lunch soon? <laughs> Not till you guys clear this road. Well, probably soon, yeah. Probably, yeah, it does. Looks really good. When I started, it like is weak and can barely cut through some of these trees and then it dies. Like if I don't hold it full blast, it dies. I'm cutting down that tree over there. So you're putting it up, right? Yeah. If if it doesn't want to start. Mm -hmm. We got gas. Okay, then we put it down. Maybe, maybe you're giving it too much gas, like in the beginning. Okay. So, let's see. Alright guys. Bye. Good luck. Bye. Bye. So, that's what they're doing. Widen in that road because this is the road that goes down to our spring. And so we're gonna need to get equipment down there. We're gonna need to get our car down there with the trailer to um, develop the spring. So the road needs to be widened and cleared so we can drive up and down there and stuff. That's what they're doing. We're working on the forms. All right, so this is what we've gotten done so far in between the rain. We got the rebar up, second band all the way around. We got this part of the form up. And so you remember me talking about the the nails here, right? They come up, 
And so when it's time, one person will be out here and I'll just hold it up like this, just so it's in the middle. It goes through the um, stem wall, comes out here. Another person will grab them with a pair of pliers and pull it tight, right? And then we'll put a nail right here, twist it around it, and that'll be a form tie holding the form together. And so we've got bunches of them along here. How is it level? This was level. Level? Yeah. How about across the two? This is perfectly level right now. This, let's see. Right there, it's perfect. It's awesome. But we haven't actually lined it up and right. secured it at all, so. How about down here by this? This is spaced properly. This is just a spacer in here holding it. Nope. <laughs> Whoa, dude. That's way off. <laughs> that is so far off. It's way off. Huh. Maybe we have a high spot. Maybe. I mean, the board is, I think there's a crown in this board, maybe. That's causing it to be high. But that's definitely high. How high is that? Can you lift it up a little bit? Yeah. Hmm. That would be level of right an inch, there. maybe. That's like the amount of that space right here from that crown. Yeah. Hmm. So. We gotta fix that. <laughs> so we're gonna have to fix that, yeah. Which means we may have to flip that board over. Which means we gotta take the top two off. This is good, right here in the middle. How about that far end over there? Could be a little low. Oh wait, no, this way, huh? Yep. Just a hair. Yeah, like barely. Yep. Just touch it just a tad and it comes up. Show the people your shirt. My shirt? Oh. <laughs> First annual Ida North Idaho YouTube meet and greet 2019. <laughs> oh, you should see all the names on the back. That's the cool part. Yeah. These are all the different YouTube channels here in the Northwest. All right. That um, we oh, came to the meet and greet. Yeah. yeah, that participated. And so, or we're invited to participate. So take a look at those guys. Go ahead and google them up and see and uh go check out all these channels on there those are our new friends another chilly morning guys they didn't get as much done yesterday as we thought we would maybe you're thinking hmm that's pretty normal for you it is normal we got joe's cutting steaks here um we got this part up of the inside we got this part up of the inside the goal today is to have this thing ready for concrete for tomorrow. I don't know. We kind of got to make that decision about lunchtime because we got a call for concrete for tomorrow. So we'll see. It's chilly this morning. making some good progress today. The weather is crazy here. I know I keep saying that, but it is 65 degrees today. I don't understand it, man. It's the middle of July. Let me show you what we've got so far. Starting here, we've got the inside done all the way up to here. We had to stop right here because um, we needed to put the penetrations for sewer water, things like that. So here's our sewer penetration right here. What I read in the code was that it had to be a penetration, a pipe two sizes larger than the pipe that you're, that's going through it, right? So we got a four inch, this is six inch. We should be good there. We've got a water penetration here coming in. We've got another potential um, water penetration coming in here and then down on this far side here we've got another one just in case right down in here we've got another one this one right here i'm thinking so that we can run power from the solar shed solar shed right here run it underground through the foot or through the stem wall and into the house right keep it nice and clean and everything underground so that's what that one's there for like i said water sewer potential other water one over there so it's just me working right now guys and it's looking good. I think we are definitely gonna be ready for concrete tomorrow. So close. Hey, Brittany. Hi. So today, guys, we are clearing the road that lies along our property. 
um, just to make the road wider and so we can access it easier, stuff like that. We just dumped off a large load of branches and trees. Now we're going back on the trailer to pick up some more. Actually, we have to cut some um, more stuff down. Hi, puppy. This is Tux. How you doing, buddy? As you can see, guys, this road is already looking a ton better, but we still have a lot to do. It's coming, Brittany. It's coming. Good job! <laughs> awesome! Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> nice job. Good job, Brittany. Yeah. Heart, go bounce, bounce. <laughs> Jules and Sarah made it back from their trip. Hi guys. <laughs> Sarah got into um, college algebra. She is a senior in high school, but she's doing dual enrollment at the university here or the community college. And so she's in college algebra starting in the fall, which is pretty cool for her. But check out what we're doing here. These are our form ties right here, kind of homemade form ties using the wire. We got a nail on this side. And then over here on this side, we've got nails that we put in pre-put in. Jules is going to hold the nail on the outside. I'm going to take these pliers and I'm going to yank it from the other side and pull that nail in tight. And then I'm going to take this nail, put it on the inside and, and twist it until that wire is tight between them. And that'll keep the form from wanting to bulge when we put the concrete in it tomorrow. So she's got the screw, the nail over there. I'm just going to pull it tight, tight. Is it good? It's good over here. Pull that one. Pull it that one okay so we got the nail tight on that side then we're just going to take this guy and we're going to put it in here and twist it then we're going to tighten it up bam baby so now we've got the wires going across here yeah like a banjo string this one. and we gotta do the bottom one and then we have to do that about two hundred thousand more times <laughs> <laughs> Concrete is coming tomorrow at two o'clock in the afternoon. We got a little bit more bracing to put up, um, some bracing along the top, more bracing along the inside here, but it's coming along really good. We're gonna go to Bible class tonight, tomorrow morning, get up early and finish this stuff up and be ready for concrete at two o'clock. Guys, if you wanna follow along on our journey here as we are building our off-grid cabin, there is a video right over here you can go ahead and watch to learn a little bit more, or you can click my face down below to subscribe. Hope you guys have a really great day. Keep smiling. See you right over there in just a second. <music>